All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Company of Heroes 2, today with the Vikinger mod. Vikinger mod is updating, they are adding a new doctrine to the OKW, it's the Iron Will or Eisener Wille doctrine, and uh, today we're checking it out for the first time, I have the privilege of showing you the first gameplay of it, uh, we're obviously going to be playing as the OKW, and our enemies will be the Soviets. Let's get into the game, and I'll talk some more about the Doctrine. All right, so not only will we be checking out the new Doctrine today, we are also going to be checking out the uh, new game mode which they're adding, which is Conquest. And Conquest uh, kind of works like VP, or uh, the Victory Point system works in the original Company Heroes. Um, every flag, however, is technically now a... VP. Every flag is technically a VP now. So as you can see in the top here, you can see every point is represented on the top bar and every about three to four seconds, if your team holds a flag that the enemy team doesn't hold, they lose a point. So let's say you hold six flags, the enemy holds four, then at the tick, they lose six points. If you hold ten, they hold nine, they lose ten. So, obviously the same way it works if they hold ten, uh, 5 and you hold 3 or you hold 9. Basically, they lose the number that you're holding if you hold the majority. So, it's basically like VP, uh, where the more you hold, the better it is for your team. And uh, according to the devs of Spearhead, especially, or sorry, not Spearhead, Wikinger, especially uh, against AI, the AI loves this game mode because all they have to do is just capture points and they'll beat you very, very quickly. Now, we're also playing as the uh, new Eisner's Will of Doctrine, and I'll hopefully be able to uh, show you some cool stuff of that today. This might be a very quick game, so there might be some stuff reserved for future videos uh, where I'll show you that in the, in the future. Uh, we're also playing a quite a small map, so I'm expecting lots of quick engagements um, where hopefully uh, we can uh, use our new, our new units to good use. We are, like I said, playing as the new Doctrine, and hopefully these guys actually want to unload. The new Doctrine uh, basically portrays uh, the SS uh, Infantry and Defense Doctrine. It's a it's an Infantry and Defensive Heavily Doctrine. And the Eisner Will or Eisner's Wille or Iron Will uh, name refers to a Hitler order given by Hitler or a, I should say, Führer order given by Hitler himself, which was uh, every man shall defend with an Iron Will until they are relieved. Um, Obviously, on the retreat throughout Russia, um, the Germans were more often than not surrounded, and it was Hitler's direct order that these men that were surrounded would not surrender, but they would fight, preferably to the death. Um, and obviously, Hitler's idea was that they would send reinforcements, and in due time, they would then liberate or counterattack and rescue the encircled troops. More easily said than done, when you are Hitler, <laughs> it is 1943-44, uh, uh, to try and get, you know, enough units to rescue other units that are stuck in the battle. Now, the cool thing is that if you go to this doctrine, you have access to Eastern and Western European SS. I'm not going to have to retreat these guys right now. As you can see, we have uh, Latvian SS, we have Bulgarian SS, we also have Hungarian SS. That is the three Eastern Front, for, or Eastern uh, Battalions. And on the western side, we have Dutch, Belgian, and Spanish. And then there are special points. I don't know if I can... Okay, I can pause the game for a second right here. So you take a look at all these special abilities. So we have... Oh, I need to unpause this really quickly. The Panzerwerkstatt. This, I guess, doctrine is not really built around German tanks. You have access to Tigers later on and to Panzer IVs and Stugs. But... The majority of your army will consist of SU, SUs and T-34s, like stolen tanks, which is actually um, even more so, there's a special call-in, like it'll be a unit that you call in from oh, down here, and you get a random KV tank. It's like 600 manpower or something. You can get a KV-1, a KV-2. Um, so it kind of depends. It's just RNG, but you get these Boita Panzers off the map. As you can see here, uh, we have uh, Panzer IVs unlocked. We have a bunker, which is actually very important to this doctrine. It's one of the main buildings that you have to build to make sure you can do your stuff. You can call in supply drops, as you can see here. We have supply drops, uh, which I think comes with fuel and ammo. We have a Stuka run, 
by the Luftwaffe ace Hans Ulrich Rudel. I think he killed over 600, if not more, enemy vehicles, especially on the Eastern Front in his JU-87. We have uh, two, this is a really cool uh, uh, unlocker, really cool call-in. You get two T-3485s and you get two units in our stolen Russian ZIS trucks who are disguised to look like Russian tankers or Russian infantry, and they can kind of like, um, I forgot, I think it might be Spearhead where they have the uh, 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 Jagdverband, I forgot their name, um, the Stilau Commandos, the ones that like, were dressed up as Americans and fought in the Battle of the Bulge. Um, actually very particular right now because it's like the area era, like it's the time of the year when that happened like 70 something years ago there is a three tiger one call-in that's like 30 through like 3200 ish if i'm not mistaking uh mp to call in and this is to kind of um act as the uh, breakout group to counterattack group up here oh i should click on this though we have uh, a Panzerfaust truck, which is actually kind of cool. You can build these Panzerfaust trucks and they will be able to resupply units with Panzerfausts uh, at a very cheap price compared to, uh, you know, regularly upgrading you guys with Panzerfausts. We have Beast Zoom Letzen, which means uh, like a uh, Führer Order or Führer Befehl, uh, like to the last. So you guys won't be able to retreat for a long time. I think it's like a three minute countdown timer, but you do get defensive bonuses and a manpower bonus. We have access to um, roadblocks and digging in your tanks, access to pack and flak emplacements, which actually is really cool. This group cannot train snipers by themselves, but they can call in two Gebirgsjäger uh, snipers that come with Mosin Nagants. Uh, we have Latvian, or sorry, uh, Estonian SS, uh, who fought um, to the bitter end uh, in a kind of like pocket, which is, I forget, I think it actually might be the Narwa pocket. Uh, they fought there to the bitter end, and these guys are pretty damn fucking elite. Then we have the Charlemagne. Apparently I read up on these guys, and they fought in Berlin, being like foreign SS troops from France. Um, they fought in Berlin, and I think they somehow made it out of there, but they knew the second they were captured, they were going to be executed. And last but not least, we have uh, captured artillery. Uh, we get some Russian howitzer supply. But now you have seen the entire doctrine. Now, after that little intermission, let's uh, hopefully not get totally wrecked here. Uh, nice thing about this, a little bit nice about this, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say, put this here, about this doctrine is that they have the ability to um, grab your infantry come into tr these trucks that's how they come into the battlefield and that's how you are supposed to uh, get them somewhere so like let's say like you just saw I can move my guys around the map pretty quickly which is actually very nice now another thing is you do have a retreat button however what you don't have is you do not have a reinforcement besides on your very first infantry I think it's made to balance it out a little bit your very first infantry has access to reinforcements however any of the other units you will have to use these guys which are reserve troopen they're the reserves these guys will merge much like conscripts with units that have taken losses so if you want to be effective you will always have one of these reserve troops at the very back of your base and those guys are going to have to merge with other units and make them go back to full strength. You can heal people using your medics. Oh, we should retreat from that. You can heal people using your medics, but if you really want to make a good use of your of your units, you're going to have to get these reserve troops to get your units up to full strength. And as you can see, uh, they will... I think we'll see that right here. There we go. They'll join right in, and now we can get these guys back to base. And they can basically... Oh, I did not mean to get both back to base. That kind of sucks. Also, we can now get uh, SS Freiwilligen from the west, so we can get Spanish, Belgian, or Dutch volunteer units uh, who are more elite than their Eastern Front counterparts or Eastern counterparts. Let's set this up to be a retreat point. Also, I have no high expectations of myself to play against the AI. Uh, I have not played Wikinger in quite a long time, and honestly, I don't think I am very good at uh, Co 2 to begin with so I'll probably get wrecked this game. However, like I said, you have to ca capture those points right now 
And there's no count, there's no big timer here, but we have two, three, four, five, six. They have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm losing about nine points every tick, and I have to capture some terrain back now. Let's get these guys unloaded. We got some Belgians, Maloney SS. Oh, that sucks. Let's get these guys back before they get fucked. Upgrade these with rifle uh, grenades, STGs, and more STGs. Oh, we just lost those guys. That sucks. All right, let's push those up. Maybe we can do some damage. Now we have these guys and these guys. These guys need to push forward over here. Uh, like I said, I have no real high expectations of myself. Uh, we'll see what happens. We can get Bewahrungstruppe, which are basically the peonies or engineers. And we have a stolen Russian AT gun. These uh, This doctrine is really based around these stolen units, stolen, almost said stolen valor, uh, stolen equipment from uh, especially the Russians. Like I said, T-34s, SU-76s, SU-85s. It's really focused around that KV-1s, KV-2s. Um, so if you like heavy German stuff, probably isn't a doctrine for you because, you know, you can't get a lot of heavy German stuff, maybe besides that Tiger uh, column, which is actually a really nice triple Tiger column though, like I showed you earlier. Uh, but you have to get it from the command bunker. And to get to the command bunker, you first have to build the Wehrungstruppe. Those guys are unarmed engineers. They're basically like a penal battalion. You can upgrade them, however, uh, with uh, actual weapons, uh, but they have to reach a higher veterancy first. Now we have a level building here to meet that. We have another truck, however. Let's send it over here. What's this half track? Do we have any? Okay, we have captured RPG 40 AT grenades. So hopefully that will do us some work. Oh, what's this up with that? Oh, it's a Soviet anti tank. Oh, we got Spanish guys right now. Let's get them on the wall. Capture some more territory. It's never a bad idea. Oh, these guys didn't capture. That sucks. Spanish are can be upgraded with an MG34, two MP40s, and uh, one uh, PPSA, which is actually really good because it gives you a lot of uh, close range firepower with this group. And then the Belgians, they like I said, they can have two STGs and rifle grenades. And we'll push these guys up over here. The Latvians can be upgraded with an STG and rifle grenades. The Bulgarians are pretty much standard as they are. I don't think you can upgrade them at all. They're armed with captured equipment, so I think they're all armed with um oh, let's not get these guys let's get the western i think they're all armed with uh mosin nagants these guys are fine actually well i need more ammo i can just get a grenade on this oh you gotta be kidding me it's got a egg grenade oh no no it's not gonna egg grenade i guess belgians are still good a T gun needs to move towards the middle air. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna lose. Oof! That was a big run. Run, you Spanish bastards! Now we finally got the Dutch. They have MG34s and uh, rifle grenades. MG34 actually very nice uh, weapon to have for these guys. Now these need to reinforce the Spanish as they just got horribly destroyed. And we're gonna have to call in another reserve troops because as you can see, we're running low on the reserve troops. These Belgians need to deal with the... Right over here. These guys should retreat for right now. We're actually not doing too horrible. Uh, I have to say, when you're, I'm very used to uh, playing vanilla lately and uh, playing not vanilla is actually really enjoyable uh, when you're playing Vikinger with the ability to like instantly unlock these uh, stuff for your for your units. For example, you know, if you in Vikinger, you just press a button and then they immediately get it if they have access to it. Like they immediately get upgrade with it. That's actually a really nice, uh, really nice thing to have compared to vanilla. Oh, I need to run away. I need to have some actual AT capabilities. Maybe get uh, this, this, and this. And now, Beretungstruppe. Cannot build a bunker yet. They have H3 magnetic mines somehow. I need to retreat these guys. All right, we need to get our reserve troops. Damn. Merge with these. Belgians get STGs. Um, oh, H3, H3, come on. Let's see if this works. Let's retreat these. These guys need to go back. 
Let's hope this works. Magnetic mine. Oh, that, that's going to be a really big fucking boom. These guys need to get the hell out of here. Come on, better. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Okay, these guys, like I said, they actually get weapons when they get to Veteran C1. So if we get them to uh, a little bit more Veteran C, we can actually get them a gun, which would be cool because I've not seen them with guns yet. Uh, these guys need to not fuck around. We're going to use some vehicles because we're getting overrun. And this is where I just haven't played enough Vikinger to actually be good at it. Um, and you know, this is only like a hard AI, not even like extreme AI or, well, does it mean like, uh, what is it again? Yeah, no, is it extreme? I think that's what it's called. We got flamethrowers. Flamethrowers and weakener are absolute scary as fuck. I want to stay very far away from those guys. Let's get these guys over here. We'll have the, um, the Bulgarians push up with the Dutch SS behind them. T-34 already on the field. Uh, these guys, if they can get an H3 on that T-34, which I doubt they'll be able to, that'd be great. Keep these guys back. Alright, our left side's fine. So we're now getting the mechanized, uh, but we upgraded to the Panzerwerk stat, so we can actually get T-34s ourselves, which, like I said, we will need to uh, fight off the, uh, the Russians, as we are these units that are basically stuck behind enemy lines, and um, we have to make do with what we have. Fuck. What? Where? Oh, I lost my... But, but, that sucks. Come on, get these guys. Alright, we can get T-34-76s now, so let's get some of those. Alright, that's bad. Let's get the hell away from that. I don't think... I don't know if I can get my Panzerfaust car yet. I don't know where I get that from. Kind of the issue. I oh, I can get it from. Uh, not here, not here. All right, so far we're doing good. We're not losing. Uh, I need to retreat. I don't. I can't. Oh, I could have used these guys with their their uh, grenade. I'm too quick on the on the retreat. Damn it. All right, we need more reserve to man up the front lines and like re replace losses mainly. All right, uh, these guys can stay here for now. ESS, the FSS will hold here, and we can get the bunker and the ammo drop. So now, let's get another Bewerungstrupp, and we'll have those guys uh, act, and we'll have them put some uh, some defenses, the, the, sorry, the bunker around. All right, take cover here. Got these guys. Let's go around. I really don't want to fuck around with the tank right now. When we get the T-34, it's also probably going to have to get repaired first, which kind of sucks. It's part of the doctrine. Go kill these flamethrowers. What? God damn. They got bricked. That's horrible. Okay, all these guys are at least feckin' oof. Let's get these Spaniards and the uh, Bulgarians up here and we'll use them to uh, take out the half-track, hopefully. And then T-34 is here, but it needs to be repaired first, as you can see. It's fine, we'll deal. Oh, okay, we're, we're, we're going plane. Damn, that just destroyed my will to live. Well, that sucks. Okay, we need to get some more... We need to get, oh, here's the Opal Blitz Panzer Five support truck. So let's get some of those then. That goes to aisle two, that's good. Maybe we can put these guys inside so we can actually capture some territory. I think we're still holding the majority by one, especially if we capture this, we'll definitely have the majority by one. Let's go around and hit this with the, with the grenade. Grenade! Wow, that's a nice voice crack. Come on. Hit it with the RG. Please? Nice! Killing vehicles in Co2 Vanilla this is okay. Killing a vehicle in Spearhead or Vikinger it feels so amazing because it's I feel like it's so much harder. I'm not really sure how this works yet. I haven't really messed around with this too much. 
as far as, as, far as I'm aware, it'll allow you to get Panzerfaust for free or for a lot cheaper. Alright, we got a T-34 over here. These guys need to go prone. And we should build this bunker here soon if we have the money for it, which is 500. It's not too bad. Well, we hit it. We hit it pretty good, too. If we can stay near that area. And if we can send a unit to... How does this work? I need to up this Panzerfaust truck and move it forward. Let's grab this guy and add him to the duchies. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I really wish I could show you some more of the, uh, of the, of the special units. Maybe in a future video I will... Uh, play a non-conquest game and uh, hopefully we can actually get a, uh, a longer round uh, against some AI. Uh, let's capture this territory. It's better than nothing. I don't really know how this works. I mean, this says I have Panzerfausts now. Is it maybe the territory that it's in or is it just the entire map? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just keep these guys Oh, these guys can't even capture them. Oh, fuck me, then. At least we have three-star veterancy Bulgarians. And they're doing... I mean, they've killed, uh, they've killed a tank. Let's get them back to go back to base, because I need to heal them up anyway. Push these up over here. So it seems like... Okay, the Panzerfaust is like only when you're in the territory or something? I'm not really too sure how the Panzerfaust works yet. I don't think... I would have to I would have to ask the devs or they would have to explain that a little bit more in detail to me because I'm not really too sure how it works but other than that so this basically is a very defensive heavily doctrine let me get this uh, bunker up here and the Spaniards can defend this they're holding this area over here let's go prone the 34 is engaging uh, we're doing pretty okay I just gotta make sure that I keep my territory building the bunker these guys are fine I could uh, resupply the enemy this. Now have 200 points. Where did my Dutch guys go? Oh, that was stupid. Alright, let's move up. I actually really like the idea where you can res- Oh, that's a KV. I really like the idea where you can uh, resupply men on... Uh, with infantry, like kind of like like you know what you can do with the uh, with the not partisans with the uh, I forgot what they're called with the conscripts. Like you can just give them to a unit. I think it's a very strong ability. That's very cool to just be able to do that regardless. There's a KV one like right here. Oh, it's a KV eight. Shit. Well, I you guess you're ramming this now. There, that's sort of effective, I guess. Get this bunker up, come on. Where's my where's my Bulgarians? Oh, they're capturing this, fuck. Oh, what? They got wrecked by... Oh, fuck. Let's get the stupid to hit this... Uh, 100 down to 100 points. We can probably do this. I need to get my... It's back here. There's a tank, like, right... I can H3 this, maybe. H3 it! Let's call on a Stuka strike right here. Oh, we just killed him with the H3. They went up the triple veterancy. Holy shit. They just all got like MP40s, car 98s. They have a Panzer Shrek as I picked it up. The Stuka just bombed this stuff. That was amazing. That's actually a very cool way to end this uh, particular video because that was absolutely. That was cool. I have never. I've played a little bit with these Bawarungstruppe, like the the engineer dudes, 
And I didn't really see them in action much because I never could use their H3s because this is a very like CQB map. I only play like big open maps where they couldn't really get close to tanks, but that is a really cool ability that they can just H3 a tank and they went from zero to a triple vet instantly. That was insane. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely be playing more Wickinger and of course some more Spirit in the near future. I will link a link to the Wickinger mod in the description. Their uh, mod should be updated very, very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers.